Now we've got a good feel for how we start to kind of name when we've got some of these other groups or constituent groups poking off of our main hydrocarbon chain. Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the kind of nitty gritty details that we start to look. Uh, i got an example here on the board for us to look at. Uh, we've got a couple of important groups to look for. It looks like we've got a chlorine, a bromine, and a fluorine as we're going around the outside here. Uh, so again, we start by finding our longest chain. We've got a one, two, three, four carbon chain. One, two, three, four. Four carbon chain. So you know this has got to be a butane for whatever our final name ends up being. Uh, now we've got an option. We've got number one, two, three, four going left to right. If we did that, looks like we would have a two fluoro. A two fluoro. It looks like we'd have a four bromo and a four chloro. But this is just one option in terms of how we could number it. If we were going to number it from the other direction, if we went from one, two, three, four, we would have one bromo. Ooh, sorry. We'd have a one bromo, we'd have a one chloro, and we'd have a three fluoro. Uh, if we were to look at the sums of all of these values that we've got for kind of our different constituents on here, we'd have a four, four, and a two. That would give us a total of ten. Here we've got a one, one, and three for a total of five, which means our better numbering system is going to be going from right to left as we've got this one drawn. Now the question becomes, in what order do we put these? Well, yay alphabet. We just go alphabetical order. Uh, a, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, so our final name here would be one bromo. One bromo, one chloro, three fluoro butane. Sorry, I got a little squish. So this would be one bromo, one chloro, three fluoro butane would be the final name on this if we had this many groups come around it. Uh, if we want to draw kind of the skeletal form for this, we got a butane, which is a four carbon group. Uh, one, two, three, four on there. We said we'd have a chlorine and a bromine. Chlorine, a bromine coming off of the first carbon, and then coming off the third, we've got a fluorine. So this would be kind of the skeletal form for this alkane structure. Uh, could be a lot of different ways we start to look at these. Uh, because these are all single bonds, we've got kind of rotation. Um, some folks were asking about kind of the bond angles. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, the reason we kind of do this little zigzag is because if we actually look at a tetrahedral mark molecule, so for example, look at this carbon here, um, we're not showing it, but there will be another hydrogen kind of coming off behind. This gives us that 109.5 between all four. And so when you actually look at these chains, they kind of end up making these zigzags. So that's why oftentimes our organic textbooks will do that. But really just kind of making sure, do we have the right number of carbons? Do we have the right things attached? We're doing okay. I'm not worried about kind of bond angles here. This is just kind of the, the what's we're looking for? This is just kind of the, the habit or uh, kind of the convention that our organic molecules start to take when we start to look at how we draw those straight chain alkanes. Cool. Uh, if you have more questions, let me know. Just kind of want to take another look at some of these alkane examples.